me to look at this without, you know, it's just triggering to see so much disinformation over something this serious. But let's see what Wikipedia has to say. So beginning in August 2017, reports surfaced. Okay, that sounds like the reports were already there, but they actually took some time for them to surface. That American-Canadian diplomatic personnel in Cuba had suffered a variety of health problems dating back to late 2016, so almost a whole year before the reports surfaced. Um, the U.S. government accused Cuba, D-U-M-B, everyone's accusing me, of perpetuating unspecified, okay, so they reduced their symbol, blah, blah, blah. Um, in 2018, U.S. diplomats in China reported similar problems to those reported in Cuba, as well as undercover CIA agents operating in other countries. Now, just because CIA agents are being attacked doesn't mean that the CIA isn't doing it. Uh, anyhow, um, I'm not saying they're the only ones doing these attacks. I'm just thinking that in this case that might have been them because... Um, why would they do that? I think it's because there's a desire in powerful people to not have relations with Cuba normalized, just talking about Cuba. So in the dream, I got this Baba Rum imagery. So I know that rum was a, you know, a, uh, something that we produced in Cuba that was shipped out of, you know, so I have to look into it to really speculate, but it'll all be speculation and it's not really directly linked to me. It's just part of the same thing. These frequency. Now here it says likely caused by directed microwaves. That's interesting as they actually come to that. Finally gotten to that place now. But is it microwaves or is it, I, I mean, why microwave is it as opposed to a longer wavelength? I don't know. Um... The victim would suddenly hear strange grating noises that they perceived from coming from a specific di direction, um, pressure, vibration. Yeah, you know when you feel it. So maybe it's the microwaves are, are the ones that you can feel. Maybe these longer waves you don't feel as much. I don't know. But um, Definitely these grating noises, my experience, I've experienced this a lot. My experience is that the noises are, my best guess is that they're not actually directly linked to the attacks. That they're, um, what's the word, correlation, not causation. I think that's the right word. Oh, no, that's not the right word. Um, that they're just, it's theater. It's something that's being done to make you think that they're linked. And then later on you might get the experience of the electronic attack with no sound. I don't know why they do the sound at first and then take away the sound. It might be it might be so that you think if you don't hear the sound you're not being attacked. Um, another thing is um, at first, when the sound was connected with electronic attacks with me, later on I would hear the sound, and I would uh, the sound would trigger you know a, a trauma response because if I heard the sound and sound was separated now from the attack, it's almost like a threat. Like the sound, one of the sounds that was being used with attacks on me was like a furnace firing up early on years ago. It sounded like a roar of a furnace catching on. Um, So then I would hear this sound of the furnace firing up and I would think that I was about to be attacked with a frequency-based weapon, but that wouldn't necessarily be the case. Okay, so the duration of these noises ranged from 20 seconds to 30 minutes and always happened while the diplomats were either at home or in hotel rooms. Yes, and I've experienced this at, at the hospital in 2014, same thing, electronic attack paired with a sound coming from the wall, a weird mechanical sound. Um, but I think this is psychological. I don't think the sound is linked directly to the attack. Only psychologically, in other words. That's what I think.
by focusing on the sound, it then becomes a form of misdirection, if that's the case. The sound is not actually technically linked with the attacks. Then it becomes a, like a red herring. So um, people talk about sonic weapons, infrasound, all these are frequencies. So then, okay, so there was a, that's Havana. But I think there's been pushback against the microwave weapon allegation, and that's kind of what I wanted to look at. Okay, microwave pulses cause bizarre Havana syndrome. I mean, how, why does it take them this long to get to that? So then we have scientists slam microwave theory. So I downloaded a document from this website, but um, Symptoms included ringing in the ears, vision problems, vertigo, cognitive dissociative. I've, I've experienced all of this from electronic attacks repeatedly, including in 2017. What I don't understand is why I get called crazy and why these people get taken seriously. I mean, it just, it really, that's why I say this is incredibly triggering to read about this. Um, then we have scientists slamming this report. Okay, scientists are slamming a report. These scientists know about microwave weapons. I don't think there's a scientist on this planet that doesn't know about microwave weapons. Scientists who collaborate on National Academies of Sciences report. So this is this something funded by taxpayer money? Commissioned? Yes, it is. Commissioned by the U.S. State Department. Okay, interesting. State Department. That's the CIA. say that finding about possible microwave attacks is far com from conclusive conclusive so this is what is called covering your own ass outside experts on microwaves and the mysterious Havana sy syndrome dis dismissed it as implausible one dubbed it science fiction I mean I find this incredible now is it the issue that it's microwaves as opposed to a different frequency I mean it just really What is needed is an all-of-government effort to, you know, okay, this is a, an infectious disease expert at Stanford. I'm not sure why you're talking to an infectious disease expert, but um, what is needed is an all-government effort, not, to, not just to study what happened, but to anticipate what the future holds. This is ridiculous, okay? This guy is, a, is at Stanford. It's ridiculous because the government, okay, if the government's doing this, it's like you don't even have room in your brain, Stanford, Mr. I work at Stanford. The idea that the government could actually be the ones who did it in the first place? You think this is actually going to be effective? Is this going to be like studying the Kennedy assassination? Is it going to be that effective? Is this going to be stud like studying 9-11? Is it going to be that effective? You really believe that? I don't believe for a second that this man believes this. So more data, more analysis, more money spent on, you know, building castles in the sky of misdirection, castles of misdirection. Statement added, among the number of conclusions, the report notes that its constellation of signs and symptoms is consistent with the effects of pulsed radio frequency. I don't know why they say pulsed. I don't know what, what the pulsing um, Catherine Horton uses that word all the time, too, pulsed. We know the cons I think the thing that's unique about this is that several people are reporting the same symptoms simultaneously. But, And diplomats are automatically considered to be, you know, somebody who's like reliable. You probably, you know, they get these mental health assessments all the time and so forth and so on. Um, 
um, we have this, like, I think this giant illusion that, or delusion, whatever you want to call it, that um, mentally ill people are just roaming the streets of this country and um, don't know up from down and someone like me is, I don't know, I just, I just can't believe it. I can't freaking believe this stuff. Um, all these false records, you know, these false medical records that have been built up on me in order to cover this up is really offensive, you know, while I'm being injured over and over and over again. Um, and the injuries haven't been addressed that have happened. Other theories circulated suggesting that the mysterious illness were created by cricket noises triggering mass hysteria, right? Because mass hysteria is so much more believable than the idea that someone could focus um, an energy weapon on somebody, even though the energy weapons are known to exist. I mean, you know, um, frequency weapons. Google it. Now, there's a lot of disinformation out there, but... Okay, so frequency weapon is actually a thing, but uh, how about shopping for frequency weapons? Nausea electronic disruption device right here on eBay.